Hosigo, Six Star Prime. We experienced every kind of conditions to massive onshore closing out big waves like where we towed and had that tow session to really small sort of fun contestable waves and uh, the lad that shined again was Tim. A nice little dinner with uh, everyone from Red Bull, coaches, friends, family, guys from uh, Paris. So, looking forward to having a nice meal. In the round of 24, it was against. Uh, Aritz Arambu and Thiago Perez. Thiago Perez, who's just been on a roll. I could just beat Kelly Slater. He's the first actual CT Kelly, CT surfer to knock Kelly out this year. And they had this heat. And um, they, it was already like he was in trouble. There was only six minutes to go and they were surfing a shore break. And Tim needed like a really high score, like a nine. He was almost in a combination situation where you need two scores. And he just paddled out the back, like to this back peak and he just read the conditions so well because the tide before that hadn't dropped enough for this back peak to break and he just took a risk like he knew he needed to take this risk and i didn't want to go at the beginning because then the other guys would see that and they'd probably end up going i wanted to time it so if i went out the back and got two scores there wouldn't be enough time for the two other guys to paddle out and do it too so within six minutes the last six minutes of the heat he got like two high seven point rides and actually went into second and knocked out Tiago, which is just just an amazing show of watermanship to be able to read the conditions at that stage and just just that was I think that was a real turning point with for Tim and his confidence to see him to, yeah, to, to see him do that like that that was a turning point like I'm, I'm confident and I knew uh, the back you could score easier so lucky that last one came and there was a good wall so yeah I stopped <laughs> after that heat he rolled on, he had a heat against Sean Gosman and destroyed him in that round. Uh, I just got one good wave that made the difference, got a little barrel and got a 7.83 or something. Or I think so, yeah, 7.83. So, um, yeah, that made the difference because then we had average scores for a second wave. And in the quarters, I was against Marlon Lipka, who's a good friend of mine too. and. Um, the heat we started out, I got a, I thought the tide was going out, so I was, I thought there'd be less and less waves, and I got my first wave, which was an average wave, and surfed it all right, got a 6.5, and fortunately the next one was better, and Marlon got an 8 on it, so uh, uh, that's what made the difference. Marlon just got a, got a bit of a start on him, he still had a good heat, but Marlon just, just got the waves and just, just knocked him out in the quarter final, but 1,950 points, his second best result and everything's on track for him for qualification. Hopefully we can have the job done in Portugal.